Welcome, my beautiful Capricorns. Um, so I did a, um, what do I want to call it? I did a reading for each sign. Um, I think it was about two days ago where, um, you know, I broke, I did a reading for each sign under one video. Actually, I had to do it in two videos and somehow I forgot you and I was so mad at myself. Um, the video was too long to like redo it. So what I decided to do, Capricorn, is to just do a special reading just for you. Um, and I'm not going to make it short. I'm going to let it be whatever it wants to be. So we're going to do a full reading for you. And this is just my way of saying, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Um, but maybe it was divine. I don't know. Maybe it was divine. Maybe you were just meant to have your own reading. So anyway, we are going to do, we're going to use the same um, format. Well, no, I'm going to do it a little different, but I am going to use like the same cards. Um, but I am bringing Mother Mary into your reading. So we'll actually start with Mother Mary. Uh, to clarify, we're going to use the Gilded Chirrell, or to go deeper. I'm not going to put any time limit on this. So however long it wants to be is what it will be. I am going to use the Psychic Tarot for your main spread. I am also using the Major Arcanas, um, which I use in, uh, I think I called it Each Sign Tarot. Um, I did Aries through Virgo, and then I did Libra through Pisces, and I just don't know how I forgot you. Um, but anyway, so we will go ahead and pull a Major Arcana for you. I did bring out the romance angels and that's if love comes up we will definitely bring these out for love so we'll put these aside and i'm going to bring my lid down so this is really going to be for capricorn sun moon rising i already know some of you here are here because um you know you're connected to a capricorn in some way many of you know that i do read through my spirit guides who then connect to your guides. That's why I feel like, you know, like I hate putting a date on a reading, um, but to put it in a playlist, I kind of have to. And I say that because I feel like a reading will just find you or you'll find it in divine timing just when you're meant to. And this may be why I forgot you. Maybe you were meant to have your own special reading. So, um, yeah. Let, so Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, those intuitively guided always. Because uh, your spirit guides, again, you know, if there's a message they want to get across to you or messages, maybe signs you've been missing, um, they'll get them to you. And that's what I often feel in a reading, like, you know, they're giving you the signs that maybe you missed or maybe you just need to hear at this time. So really um again i already know some of you are you know you're connected in some way to a capricorn so just be open to receiving messages yourself um also always feel free in any of my readings to ask your own spirit guides to send you signs of confirmation that can be through numbers through, you know, something I say, um, whatever it may be, that's between you and your spirit guides, because uh, they're here, you know, they're here. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into the reading. I am going to start with Mother Mary, though. So let's go ahead and officially open up your reading. Mother Mary, and by the way, everything is always pre-shuffled before you get here, but I like to give it a shuffle with you here. All right, so Mother Mary, beautiful words of wisdom for Capricorn. Mmm, Father. I don't know why I just went, mmm, Father. My true father is God in heaven who shines healing light upon me, my birth father, and our relationship. Um, you know, I feel like for some of you, 
This could talk about a father figure who would have already crossed, who is part of your spiritual team now. You know, like one of your spiritual guides, maybe, you know, stepping forward as like the guide in this reading. I do feel that for some of you. Um, I also want to say, though I know it has nothing to do with what the card says, um, for some of you, it can also talk about, you know, connecting with someone who reminds you of your father. Now, that can be good, that can be bad, you know what I mean? Um, and I'll give you a short example, you know, like, I was a daddy's little girl, loved my dad to death, um, but you know, and he treated us kids very, very well, but he did not treat my mother well. Um, I mean, they fought all the time and um, he cheated on her. You know what I mean? And then then I go and get married. Yeah, I leave the house. I meet someone. I go and get married. And when you know it, it was just like my dad, the parts of my dad that I didn't so much appreciate um, were no longer married. That was way back I got married in 79, divorced in 86. Uh, so I do feel that also. But let's go ahead and put that to the side. So, Father. All right. Let's go ahead and bring out your major arcana. Give them a couple shuffles. And then I do want to cut them. reason why I cut my cards is for those who are interested. Um, to me, it's a symbol to my guides that I'm open. I am ready. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let me put these to the side. All right. So we have the tower. You know, I do have to say it did come face up and it did come reversed. So, we'll see. Um, but the tower certainly talks about disruption in your life. It can talk about, um, you know, something that ended. I often feel in the tower like someone fell from grace. And, you know, can they recapture that? I don't know. We'll see. Um, you know, but let's remember it was reversed. So, maybe in some way... Maybe this is what your guides are going to do. They're going to help you avoid that tower. All right. Let's bring in the psychic tarot. Again, I'm going to give them a couple shuffles. Um, you know, and I'm picking up for some of you that this tower moment may have happened. You know, something may have ended. Someone could have given you a tower. But I feel because it's in reverse, it's like you... Now overcoming that, you being able to move on from that. And I often feel when the tower shows up, a day will come in the future where, or maybe for some of you, you're, you're already there where that the power of that tower no longer holds any power. You know, sometimes I feel like, you know, as time goes by, we may look back and be like, thank God, thank God that tower happened, because if that didn't happen, then I wouldn't be where I am today. So we'll see. It'll come up through the reading. All right. And so when I did the other reading, I was just pulling from the top. But for your reading, I am going to shuffle and let them come out naturally. We have the waiting game. Hmm. I have to say, I don't love that energy. It can be, you know, and if you just look at the image, it's like this person is like around and around and around this hourglass. Just waiting. Waiting and waiting and waiting. Let's see what you're waiting for. We have the universe. Okay, so this is a new chapter. Interesting. 
two twos right there, it's 21, which really equals up to three, which really speaks about joy, even a reason to celebrate. Um, the universe to me is a very spiritual time in one's life. You know, I feel like it's where you're really connecting with your spiritual team and you're walking hand in hand with them now. You know that they're guiding you. I feel like for some of you, you're no longer waiting. Um, we'll see why, but I feel like at this moment, it just feels that way because the universe is the next chapter. And by the way, the universe in the tarot is the very last card. And I often feel that means it's the closest energy to God or to divine. Um, it should be a good time in your life. So, to me, that's, that's a good symbol. There's a new door opening. There's a new chapter opening. 21, bring that down to a 3. It should be joyful, or at least has the opportunity. All right, conflict and defeat. Five, change. And then look at this, soulmates. Interesting. Soulmates. Two twos mirroring each other. Right off the bat, you have three twos in this reading. And twos can certainly talk about relationships. You know, learning, you know, how to be in a relationship. Um... Maybe someone else is learning. This actually says spiritual union, but right before it, there's some conflict. Um, you know what? I really feel like this is like you're not waiting anymore. I feel like you're just not waiting anymore. Because um, remember, five speaks about change. So some type of change is coming your way. and. You know, what follows it is spiritual union, the soulmates. You know, I have to also say, I feel like Maybe just for a few of you, but I, I, I get this feeling like I may have had a discussion with someone and maybe I said that to him, like, I am not going to wait any long, you know, like whatever it is that I'm waiting for, you know, it probably has something to do with this conflict. Um, and I feel like what it's doing, it's keeping you in, mm, I feel kind of sad, you know, like a sad state. So I'm hoping that what this means is that you had a real conversation with someone and it was either, you know, you're going to love me or you're not going to love me. It's going to be one or the other. I'm not going to sit here and wait anymore, especially with the five. That is change. And then the universe, that's also change. That is the next chapter. So we'll see. But I do feel like... Maybe you had this conversation. We have authority. This is a card of Aries. Interesting when you look at this image, like how his arms are crossed. Just look at his body language. It's kind of resistant. You know, um, the emperor is normally someone we can look up to. This can also be a father figure, by the way. But this is normally someone we can look up to. But he is coming under the waiting game. And he does seem resistant. So let's see why. And then look at this, two fours. So right off the bat, you have two twos. And now you have two fours. These two fours are connected to each other. These two twos are mirroring each other. Rest and rejuvenation under the universe. I like that a lot. I feel like if nothing else you're starting to feel better. This is you healing from the past. And if you just look at this person's position, like they're open to really what the universe wants to bring in next. You know, maybe this is what I felt in the beginning with the tower, like healing from that energy. 
taking a moment out for yourself. I also love this image because this person is out in nature and being an earth sign, I feel like nature can be very healing. I'm an, also an earth sign. Um, and I know that, you know, when I'm out in nature, it is very healing. I often recommend that, you know, if you can, depending where you live, um, take your shoes off and go walk in the grass. You know what I mean? Go take a walk in the woods um, just somehow get back into nature. And I have a feeling also that there's probably going to be some signs sent your way. And this person is open to receiving. We have truth. This is judgment. Judgment is calling you to the present moment. You know, it does say truth, though. So I feel like there's a need to be honest with oneself. Let's say I am waiting and waiting and waiting. You know, I feel that, well, I mean... It depends. I feel like each for each person is going to be different. Um, but I feel like judgment wants you to be really honest with yourself. You know, am I waiting for someone to come around and show their love or, you know, show me that they care? Um, it's coming under conflict. But remember, judgment is also about a rebirth. So whatever conflict there was, I feel like it's coming to an end. Not only is it coming to an end, but you're healing. This is probably past energy. And I just get, I do, I get the feeling that I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting any longer. You know, especially if someone's playing mind games with you. I'm not going to keep accepting it. You know, love me or don't love me. And by the way, if someone doesn't or doesn't come around, I feel like, well, there's someone else that might just be waiting. You know, if you think about love, love happens in very unexpected ways. And this is talking about a rebirth, right? But it is calling you to the present moment. So you have two energies right now that are really calling you to the present moment. The universe, the next chapter. I have to say also, though, in the universe's energy, I feel like it's an energy that that lasts for the rest of your life. And I feel like it's good energy. Again, 21 represents joy, even something to celebrate. And then judgment saying, first, be, be completely honest with yourself. You know what I mean? Um, and that's sometimes a hard thing to do. But because it's coming under conflict and it's coming under five, which is asking for change, I feel like it'll be definitely be worth it. And healing right before that. Some of you could have already been in this healing energy and now it's time for um, some type of rebirth. But judgment sends your signs in the present moment. That's why... They are calling you to the present moment. Like, don't look for your signs back there. Don't look for your signs out in the future. It's right here, right now that I send your signs. Be completely honest with yourself. And because healing is right before that, I, f I kind of feel like you are. Let's see what mirrors the emperor. You know, this person certainly does look resistant. We have new beginnings. Look at that. The full coming right under spiritual union. Soulmates. Not only that, it's coming right after judgment. Who, again, calling you to the present moment because they have a sign for you. You know, there is some type of a new beginning. And the fool's about the willingness to take a leap of faith. I may not know exactly where it's going. It is a zero. 
reminds me of infinity. Um, I just realized you also have two two or three twos now. So I feel like relationships is going to be a big part of this reading. All right, I think I want to keep going though. I was going to stop there, but I think I want to keep going. I want to follow the full. So the full, if you're going to take a leap of faith, but you're being guided at the same time. You know, if nothing else, that should give you a little comfort, knowing that your spiritual team is really proactive in your life and is helping to guide you to what I feel that you probably want anyway. You know, is it the emperor? Mm, maybe. You know, and I don't mean Aries. I mean, it can be an Aries for some of you, but I don't feel like it has to be an Aries. Um, you know, maybe the emperor fell from grace for a moment. And maybe I've just been sitting here waiting for them to uncross those arms. But I feel like the healing is about you, right? The healing is about the healing the heart, but also the mind. And then judgment. Well, you know, judgment would say that the clearer the mind, the easier it is to pick up at the signs. Now, if you miss a sign, don't worry about that because they will send you another sign. But this is very, this is a very clear message here, right? There's a new chapter, pretend, well, not even potentially, that's opening up um, and we're going to help guide you. We're going to help guide you. The only thing we ask of you is to be willing to take on the fool's energy. So what does that mean? A couple things. Number one, the fool doesn't carry the past energy to the present or the future. I've learned from it. And that may be what the four swords is talking about. You know, maybe I've taken some time out. I'm healing. I've learned. And being really truthful with myself, you know, even if the emperor is someone that maybe doesn't turn out to be the one, well, there's still someone. And the fool lives in the present moment, but it's also willing to take a leap of faith. And I love that the fool is so close to judgment, so close to your spiritual team. So I feel like don't fear this. If you can help it, don't fear it. I feel like your spiritual team is also asking you to ask yourself, you know, do you appreciate who you are today? And it is your past experiences that make you who you are today and, you, and being proud of that. We have recognition and reward. It's almost like that's just what I want. I want this recognition. Um, this is the Three of Pentacles, by the way. And even though I didn't try to make this a love reading, I can't help but follow what, you know, it feels like a love reading. So the Three of Pentacles, to me, talks about your individuality. And if it's about love, then... It would mean that this soulmate would love you for exactly who you are. You know, you're not perfect. They're not perfect. But none of us are perfect. We're born imperfect. Our spiritual team knows that. That's why they help guide us. First of all, I feel like you got to recognize the beauty within yourself. But also, I feel like this is talking about the recognition from another. And I don't know. I'm just not picking up that the emperor is giving you the attention you deserve. Look at this. Two, three, four. Um, I'm getting ready to take another course in numerology uh, because I love numerology. You know, understanding what numbers mean what they represent, um, and I am going to take a course, another course in it, and um, I can't just, I can't wait to, like, bring it to the table for you. Well, hello, marriage card. 
by the way, another four. So three twos, three fours, and the fours are all connected. And the marriage card is mirroring the universe. When I say marriage card, you know, I just want to say commitment because I don't always know that it's going to go to marriage. Um, well, I shouldn't have said it that way. Um, I don't know that everyone feels like I have to be married, you know, but it does talk about true commitment. And in what I love about the Four of Wands is everyone there wants to be there. There's no kicking and screaming. You know, it's just, I couldn't imagine my life without you. And I kind of love that it's mirroring the universe. Discontentment and boredom. Makes sense. It's mirroring conflict and defeat. Um, this really talks about it like on an emotional level, though. It doesn't have to mean like your whole life, you know, every part of my life. I do want you to see how this person's back is to the world. And I don't know. I just get this feeling that, again, someone may have had you waiting. And it makes me feel like, like you thought less of yourself because of that. You know, it's like someone's energy is making you feel, mm, like I want to say worthless, but it's not the truth. That's the thing. It's not the truth. It's just what someone's making you feel. So in the Four of Cups, you don't see it in this image, but normally there is a cup coming in. And I feel it's coming from the hand of divine. So I want this cup. But right now this person's back's kind of to the world where they recognize it. The four of cups speaks about really learning to use your spiritual discernment. It's coming right below your spiritual team. And it's mirroring conflict and defeat. So change? I think so. I feel like it will suit you. Um, it will help you. And then we have power. This is a strength card. Card of Leo. Um, this is about really looking within. You know, if someone else is not going to give you what you deserve, don't take that. I, it, you know, it's hard to say this, but don't take that like personally because I often feel in this type of reading if someone's not giving me the attention that I really want you know it, it's probably not you it's probably their lack mentality you know maybe they don't know how to love maybe their father didn't know how to love and they're kind of following suit you know and that's their life lesson that's something that they have to learn you know maybe they are We'll see. We'll go into the clarifiers and it'll make it, you know, we'll have a clear answer with that. But this is definitely energy to be proud of because this is like, this is looking within. This is understanding, you know, the things that you, that you've, that you have already overcome. I mean, just look at the image, part human, part lion. You know, to me, that's courageous. Like you're being courageous and it's coming under the full. First of all, eight also stands for a new beginning, and it is the number of infinity. As above, so below. No beginning, no end. So I feel like there's a need for you to feel proud of who you are, first and foremost. I feel like your spiritual team is saying, we're proud of you. Now, let's allow this new beginning. Maybe you've taken some time out. 
especially with rest and rejuvenation, but also in that four cups where, the, again, this person is um, their back is to the world. You know, sometimes we need that. But we have to know, like, you know, all right, when is the time to, like, reconnect to the world? Because here is the world. Here is a new chapter. And it's opening up. And it is mirroring a beautiful commitment. And we have spiritual union here. You know, usually you'll see it says soulmates. But in this deck, it literally says spiritual union. I think what I want to do is move the tower over. To give myself some more room. And let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Ah, suffering in silence. This is the Nine of Swords. Hmm. Okay. I'm feeling a couple things. First and foremost, I feel like if there's someone I'm waiting for and they're just not playing along, you know, they're kind of leaving me hanging on a hook, then it's time to say something. You know, it's time. I, I feel like I got to almost demand, like, you either love me now and you know i'm saying love me now but at least let's just say you either want to let's just put it a different way you either want to be with me or you don't and it's that simple and if you don't then set me free set me free nine of swords really speaks about unnecessary worry but it is worry nonetheless you know I don't love that it says suffering in silence because I feel like it it means there's something you need to get out, you know, out of your system. And that's probably what rest and rejuvenation is helping you do. Now, this is on the bottom of the deck. So energy that wants to leave. And again, the meaning of this is unnecessary worry. This partnerships and alliances behind it. You know, you're, it's like your spiritual team knows everything you're going through. The good, the bad, the ugly. Um, we have soulmates here. So I know this, you know, whether this be someone new, because we do have the full underneath that. And it is speaking about a new beginning coming right next to judgment, which, first of all, is asking you to be really truthful with yourself. You know what I mean? Like, again... I feel like in a soulmate type of energy, someone would know if they want to be with you or not, unless they have some lack mentality. You know, I mean, again, maybe the father has something to do with that. You know, maybe they're following like, you know, some, what's the word I want to use? Um like their own father's lack mentality. Now I carry it. Maybe, just maybe, who I thought was my one and only. And I'm not going to say yet that, you know, it keeps bringing me back to the emperor. Like, are, like, are you worth waiting for? I don't know. Because he's in a very resistant energy. Like I'm really paying attention to his body language. And, you know, maybe he also, and I'm saying he, it could be a she. Um, let's just say they. They also needed to heal. But they have to do that on their own. You know what I mean? Like this, like certain energy uh, with our spiritual team, we can heal but sometimes we can't heal others, you know? And I feel like this person feels re very resistant to that anyway. Let's bring out the Gilded Chirau. Um, I want you to notice the good things in this reading. First of all, the universe. 
it's signifying a new chapter is opening up. It also signifies a very spiritual time in your life. And it's also connected to judgment, your spiritual team. And number 21, it should bring joy to your heart. I also want you to notice that under the soulmates is the full. Letting myself have a new beginning. Allowing myself to take a leap of faith. You know, if nothing else, this should give you some comfort that your spiritual team knows exactly who this soulmate is for you. And that's why they're calling you to the present moment. They're going to help guide you. You know, all you need to do is be in that present moment. Let the past be the past. Even if this is like a reconnection with the emperor, I still have to find a way to let the past be the past so I can enjoy the present moment and then be that willingness to take a leap of faith. You know, and I love power right below that. And to me, it's like a sign of courage. You know, I don't feel like there's been any waste of time, even if I had been waiting. For someone, I don't feel like I wasted any time. Like, you know, I feel like if anything, during that time period, I allowed myself to heal what I could heal. And your spiritual team is right beside that also. So they're helping you. And this person, you know, their hands are open, open to receiving. And then what does it produce? The commitment card, the marriage card. I don't have to question whoever this is because, again, this is someone who makes it very clear that they want to be with me. Makes it very clear that they do want to make a commitment with me. And I don't have to worry about that. You know, and that's what I love about the marriage card. That's why it's one of my favorite, let's just say, love cards. Because, again, I, there's no one kicking and screaming here. And I feel like when these two come together, it would take a hell of a lot to then break them up. And I don't feel like they would break up because I feel like there's nothing these two cannot get, cannot um, overcome together. Okay. Did I cut these? Oh, how interesting. We have the marriage card on the bottom of the deck. I don't know if I cut them, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to start at the beginning. We're going to read them as a whole. Um, so again, I just want to point out, we have two twos mirroring each other. We have three fours. That Actually, we have four fours all connected. Oh, it makes me want to look up that number. I, I'm going to look up that number. You know, it's funny. I did this the other day and I said, I can't remember the last time I actually looked up like an angel number. Um, but because they're all connected, I feel like I have to. So let's just take a second. And angel number 4444. Four, four. Put in one too many fours. Okay. The angel number 4444 is said to represent strength, resilience, and the need to trust your inner wisdom. It can also be a reminder to stay the course, build a foundation, and have faith in what you can't see yet. Wow. Have faith in what you can't see yet. Let's read one more. Stability, guiding the individual to pursue their goals with determination and balance. And let's see if we can find it with love. Let's actually add that word. Okay, the angel number 4444 can have a, an impact on love and relationships, 
both romantic and platonic. It can be a sign to pay attention to your relationships and love life and to focus on building stable and balanced connections. 4444 represents strong steps being taken in a relationship, like developing a deeper connection with an, exi- with an existing partner or concluding a relationship. 444 could mean that you're entering into a time You're entering into a time to embrace self-love, follow your spiritual intuition, and make the choices that will allow success. A reminder to build solid foundation to reap the benefits love has to offer. Okay. It's time to pursue your dreams and all that and all. Let me start over. Angel number 4444 means it's time to pursue your dreams and that all your hard work is sure to pay off. The angel number comes blessed with faith, balance, and that's all it let me see. Four 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 is believed to hold deep spiritual meaning. And often and is often seen as a sign of positive transformation and guidance from your guardian angels. Well, I feel like all that applies. I mean, here are your guardian angels. Here is your whole spiritual team. And they are trying to get to you. They are trying to get a message to you. They are asking you to jump into the fool's energy. So again, I feel like, you know, if this is an existing relationship it's like time for someone to make a decision and i feel like if they don't make a decision that is their decision and you know we just have to accept that but if that's the case then listen this is talking about a soulmate that is coming towards you you know that is part of this new chapter period And I feel like with the strength card under the full, to me, it's like you're ready. All right. Let's go ahead and bring in the Gilded Tarot. Make sure I have them in the upright. I always put my cards in the upright. Um, that way, if they come out reverse, then um, then we know. All right. Mm, two of Wands over the waiting game. Interesting. We have the Queen of Swords, can be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, but doesn't have to be. I feel like this is your voice. This is your truth and you're speaking it. You know, it's like the Two of Wands is this is you. And by the way, hello, another two. So the Two of Wands, this is you stepping upon, well, the path of the universe. This is you saying, yes, I'm willing, I'm, I'm ready. And I often, I feel like this is your voice. This is your truth. You know, judgment coming out with the word truth. That's what you want. You want to be completely honest with yourself, but also honest with others. Like, you know, your own self-respect. And, you know, I don't feel like, again, I don't get this feeling like if there's someone who just isn't going to be what I had hoped. I'm not going to give up on love. I may give up on them. But for some of you, this could be you speaking your truth. And, and that's exactly what I felt in the Nine of Swords. Like you, you got to get that out of you in some way. Whether it's like through a written letter. Or a text. You know what I mean? But it is your truth. And then we have the Hermit, Carter Virgo. Um, But let me tell you, it's coming over conflict and defeat. And I know you guys hear me say this all the time, but, you know, certain decks, you'll see the Hermit is going into a cave. And to me, that represents going into like a dark night of the soul, something that, you know, was difficult I don't, I didn't have clarity and I don't understand. 
this is someone who is like looking for spiritual guidance. Um, and that's exactly what you're going to receive in this energy. You know, often I feel like when the hermit's going into the cave, what I'm seeking is the light. And what I realized through this time period is I am the light. I am the light. I get to determine what my life is going to look like. It is through my seeds of intention, right? It's the realization that I work hand in hand with divine. You know, it's not all up to divine. It's not all up to us. But when we learn to walk hand in hand, wow, I feel like your life changes. This hermit has emerged from the cave and his beacon of light, her beacon of light is shining brightly. And by the way, what is this, this light illuminating a snake? So in a way, it's a sense of comfort because if there are any snakes in the grass, let's say, they'll be illuminated to you. So, you know, if you had a hard time in love, like a previous relationship, it, you know, sometimes we shut our heart down. But yet I feel like you have healed or, you know, I feel like we're always healing. You know, this is not a one-time energy. It's like healing from, you know, maybe many different things, maybe even our childhood. And by the way, the lantern of the hermit is illuminating the soulmates. So it feels like conflict. It's time to go. Uncertainty. Goodbye. Now I want to be part of the world. Okay, let's keep going. Um, and the hermit, by the way, is a very spiritual energy. This is, you know, it makes complete sense because the universe to me means that your spirituality is alive. You're trusting your intuition more and more and more. Um, you're trusting within your spiritual team. You know, you're able to recognize those signs. And if you miss a sign, ask your guide, send it again. I'm not really sure if that was a sign. They will. Some of you, the whole reading is your sign. We have the Page of Cups over the soulmates. So the Page of Cups to me is your inner child. Um, it can certainly represent a younger uh, water sign, which would be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But you know what I'm going to say. It doesn't have to. Um, I feel like it's more of your inner child, to be honest. Page is also energy that's in the atmosphere. It may not have reached you yet, but it will. And this page has a cup in front of him, not behind him, in front of him or her. Some of you, that's what you've been healing, like your inner child. I feel like that's where we take our like emotional issues, right in the inner child. So we have to heal that. You know, we have to know that we deserve to have love. And the best of love. But we also have to be what it is that we want. You know, that's the law of attraction. You know, if I, if I really want, and it's coming over spiritual union. So I feel like for many of you, this has been a journey. But I feel like you're reaching well, I kind of feel like you're reaching that mountaintop. Page is looking out towards the future, not towards the, the past. Which I feel like is exactly what your spiritual team wants you to do. I love the hermit right above judgment because, you know, you are connecting to your spiritual team. And I do feel like you're picking up these signs a lot easier than 
you used to. You know, it's it's a sense of wisdom. Like I've learned from these past conflicts. You know, when I felt defeated, now I understand not to put it all on me. All right, with the two pentacles. A lot of twos in the reading now. Two pentacles over the emperor. So they call the two pentacles the juggler's card. Being an earth sign, I call it using my logical mind. So now there's a question around this emperor, which I already had a little bit of a question around him. Whoa. All right. It's like we got everything all at once. All right. So first we have the five of wands. I'm sorry. Yeah, the five of wands. Well, it's a lot of ego. Can be a lot of fighting. I have a feeling some of you really are overcoming something that was difficult. Um, something that a lot of people don't like when I say, but I feel like I have to say it, is often in this energy, let's say it's fighting. No one really backs down um, because it's a lot of ego. So the best way to handle this, well, is to walk away from it. You know, if I'm waiting for someone to apologize, recognize their own actions, chances are I'm not going to get it. But again, this is coming over healing. I feel like there is a discussion that's happening. And there's being a question posed, let's just say to the emperor. You know, interesting because I said the emperor is normally someone that we look up to and I'm looking at the tower and it reminds me often of someone who's fallen from grace. Now, it doesn't mean they can't recover, you know, because listen, we all fall from grace here and there. Um, but am I going to continue to wait? So I feel like for some of you, the answer is no. Then we have the three of pentacles again, right over your spiritual team. You know, what they're saying is they want you to recognize your individuality. Be proud of who you are, how far you have come, especially if you've allowed this healing process to take place. You know, maybe someone, again, didn't love me in the way that I had hoped, but your spiritual team is saying that does not mean that someone won't, you know, like be proud of who you are. Again, it's your spiritual team recognizing you and they're telling you there is no one else like you. All right, we got quite a few cards here, but we're going to take them. Well, hello, Ace of Cups over the new beginning under the soulmates. Hmm, so love, whether it be here or whether it be new, we have the seven of wands, seven of wands about standing your ground. We have the eight of pentacles. We'll come back and talk about all these. Look at this. We have justice, um, card of Libra, but certainly can talk about cutting a ties. You know, when justice shows up in a reading, it's really about making you whole again. Feeling whole again, feeling yourself again. Um, I often feel when justice shows up, it means that there's something unbalanced in my life and it's coming right over the four of cups. So it's an emotional energy. You know, like there's your emotions feel unbalanced, but it's probably because someone else is making you feel that way. I have to make a decision whether I'm going to use that sword of justice. We have the Six of Pentacles. 
we have the Queen of Cups. Interesting, we have the Page of Cups. Now we have the Queen of Cups. This could be younger energy, and this could be current energy. Um, can be, again, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But doesn't have to be. And when I say that, it's because I'm reading the energy versus, like, the sign. So this is someone, first of all, look at what she's holding out. She's also holding out that cup. We have the chariot. Beautiful. Uh, Cancer's major arcana. The chariot's really about unlimited potential. Um, do you have to know that? It's your own potential. But maybe also about these soulmates, like they really do have unlimited potential. But maybe I did need to use this sword of justice. And then the beautiful sun. We have double Leo on the board, by the way. This is the ruler of Leo. But this is your illuminator. The sun to me is a brand new day. Um, it's playfulness. There's nothing, you know, let's put it this way. Anything done in the dark will come to the light when the sun comes out. So there's nothing I need to fear, especially with the, also the hermit illuminating, you know, like if there, if, if a snake, you know, in the grass comes your way, you'll know it. And I feel like that's on a spiritual level. Like your intuition will just know it. You just need to trust that. But again, the hermit's illuminating the soulmates. And so is the sun. All right, so let's go back for a minute. So we got the seven of swords. This coming over recognition and reward. You know, the seven of swords or the seven of wands. Um, it is about standing your ground. But I have to say also, I often feel in the seven of wands like, you know, I put out one fire, another fire starts. I put out that fire, another fire starts. You know, it can talk about like a problem um, or problems that, you know, we solve one problem, then another problem shows up. I don't know. Doesn't feel like the type of love that I feel it's on the board right now. This is probably the past. Um, or what you've been overcoming. You know, yes, you can stand your ground. There's nothing wrong with that. That is your choice. But then I also feel like I have to understand, like, how long do I want to do this? And if this is about really true love, spiritual love, because the Ace of Cups right under the soulmates, that is a spiritual love, especially coming right next to judgment. And judgment, you know, I feel like judgment, your spiritual team is saying, do you recognize how beautiful you are? And I mean that on an inner level. I mean, certainly you could be beautiful, but I feel like your spiritual team is like, do you recognize how special you are and what you do deserve? But you have to know that. Because when we don't know that, that's when we tend to give the wrong people, like, all of our energy. And then here's the soulmates. In a way, I feel like they're part of this next chapter. This is someone, especially with the Four of Wands, that they will recognize your energy. Like, they will appreciate you for exactly who you are. This is not someone who's going to come to the table and say, you know, I love you, but you need to change this and you need to change that. Now, that's what the person in the five of wands would say. Like, yeah, I love you, but you, you but I don't like this about you. I don't like that. And I don't want, and I don't like your voice and I don't like, you know, you telling me what to do and blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? And then we move into the Eight of Pentacles. And because this feels like a love reading, the Eight of Pentacles to me answers a question. So 
you know, how do I know after what I've just been through that the soulmate that I'm going to be connecting to, and by the way, I feel like this is not something you need to look for. This is something that's just going to find you and you them. Like it just probably sits upon your path already. It may be divine timing. You know, judgment calling you to the present moment. There is about to be a rebirth. And then the fool it's like you're answering that call. You're saying, okay. You know, and whenever this ace, this ace of cups shows up, yes, I'm willing to take a leap of faith. And the Eight of Pentacles would answer the question, you know, how do I know that this can be, that we, that we can be successful? Well, this, this is an energy of, if you're willing to put your focus upon it, that's what you're, that's what you will grow. Also, it's a number eight. So again, new beginning. I kind of feel like the emperor is old. I kind of feel the emperor's resistance that I, I can't help but feel is a, it's like, I feel like it's just been too much. Some of you may have already moved into this energy and maybe that brings you a little fear because, you know, remember we have the nine of swords on the bottom of the deck. Maybe you haven't had the closure that you felt like you needed from someone of the past. You know, maybe they really did a number on you and you took it like right in that inner child. But I feel like with the, with healing here, you know, uh, it just feels like you're coming back to yourself, like the sun's going to start shining again. It may say, you know, you do need to use that sword of justice to cut ties to just what's not serving you. Because I feel like it leaves me unbalanced. And that's not a good way of living. Because I feel like the minute I use that sword, it balance, like it recalculates and now I'm balanced. And when I'm feeling balanced, then I'm much more open to receiving. And by the way, that is the next card, the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like this may ask you a question. Especially because we have the five of wands here, the seven of wands, and then conflict up here. This could certainly just be asking you a question. You know, have you been in a relationship or, you know, wanted to be in a relationship, but you find that the giving in and receiving is unbalanced? It's coming right next to justice. Um, this is a very empathetic and compassionate type energy. This is someone who um, is very caring, but that doesn't mean everyone that I meet is going to be the same. Now, because we have spiritual union and we also have the marriage card, I do feel like whoever is in this Ace of Cups, I feel like your energy will be very close to the same. doesn't mean you're exactly the same. Um, but, you know, did I put the weight of a relationship all on my shoulders? Am I open to not just giving, but also receiving? And if I'm not receiving, well, that's not fair. And that's not balanced. And maybe I needed to ask myself that because it's coming over the strength card So the chariot also, let me talk about the chariot for a second. Um, because the chariot, you know, I feel like the chariot comes in when you're ready for the chariot to come in. Because the chariot is moved by your, your seeds of intention. You tell this chariot where to go, not the reins. You know, it's not the reins of the horse that, that move this chariot. It is your seeds of intention. And it is telling you that this really is that you carry unlimited potential. Maybe you just had to realize that. And then once you have that realization, then, I mean, you can soar. Chariot really is the balance of the feminine, the masculine, the light and the dark within ourselves. 
um, because we carry all that energy. But it could also talk about, you know, the masculine and the feminine of the soulmate. You know, I feel like the days of suffering in silence, I feel like that's what your spiritual team, you know, there may be some things that you just need to get off your heart. And, you know, yes, I could, I could, you know, send it to someone who I've been waiting for, um, waiting for them to, I don't know, like, I don't know, I kind of feel like, waiting for them to make a decision. But again, you know, maybe I say to them, like, love me or don't love me, and then it turns into a fight. Well, I don't want to fight. I'm done fighting, right? I, I found my voice again. Nine of Swords, I kind of been quiet with my voice, but I feel like you're bringing it back to the forefront now. You know, you know your own truth. You understand your own value. And I pray and hope that anyone who has been in that energy of like waiting for another to come around. And I'm not going to say that that someone can't come around. Of course they can. But it feels here like there's some conflicts. You know what I mean? Like there feels like there's conflict. And I don't feel like that's what is meant to move forward with you. I feel like this Ace of Cups feels very pure, especially coming over the full, right? This is like new love, even if it's someone of the past, because again, we have the Page of Cups. Now we have the Queen of Cups. So it could certainly represent younger energy, current energy, and it does not have to be Cups. I feel like why the Page and the Queen came out is because we have the Four of Cups. So an emotional issue. Don't forget, in the Four of Cups, you are receiving a cup. You just have to learn to use your spiritual discernment. And by the way, here is that cup. So using your spiritual discernment, if I have any fear, though the Two of Wands tells me, chances are you won't. You know, maybe I'm just at least willing to take a step into it. As the Fool would, I'm willing to take that leap of faith. Some of you may be so surprised by what is coming your way, whether it be someone of the past or someone brand new. I get a feeling it's not this emperor. There's, there's too much around him that, and, and so much resistance that I'm feeling from him that, uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll change. Chances are, I just don't know. I just don't feel it. I'm going to be honest. I just don't feel it. Not with this one. Not with this emperor. Interesting. I just realized it says authority underneath that. And that's what I feel like this person wants. This, you know, this could be someone who has like narcissistic tendencies. My way or the highway. Okay, well, I think I'm going to choose the highway. I think I'm going to choose the highway. Let you have your way to yourself. And then once, I feel like once that happens, it's like this new path opens up for you. And I'm telling you, Capricorn, I don't feel like there's much you need to do other than allow yourself to have this new beginning right? Trust your spiritual team that they are going to help guide you. Use that sword of justice to make your life balanced. You know, the sun represents a very good time in your life, and so does the universe. All right, I'm just going to come back and look at this emperor one more time. I don't even know why. Um, and by the way, this could be someone, you know, that was of the past. Um, this could be the tower that you've been healing over. 
And now you're on to, you know, the next chapter within your life. All right, we have judgment, your spiritual team. But look what comes out with it, the Ten of Wands. I feel like your, your spiritual team is like, nope, nope, nope. It's like you've been carrying the weight, all the weight of this. And that's not the way it's supposed to be. That's not the way love is supposed to be. So, you know, as hard as it is for me to say this, because I know some of you, maybe, you know, I really wanted this to happen. But listen, I want to make this very clear. This is not about just like, you know, if someone needs some time, that's fine. This feels more of like a mind game. And it can be of the past. It can be what you've been healing. And it may mean that you're now open to what's new. Um, and some of you could have already been, you may have already stepped into it. But I feel like, I feel like our spiritual team is making it very clear to me that it's not the emperor. All the weight was on your shoulders. It's carrying the weight of the world. Not only that, and then suffering in silence. I got to be really honest with myself here. You know. Oh, six of cups. Okay. So I feel like this is representing someone of the past. Um. And yes, it can represent someone that I do have happy memories about, but I feel like you may have, have you may like there may have been good times, but I feel like the bad times outweighed the good times. But I also feel like I'm feeling this two ways. I'm also feeling that this may also talk about this page and this queen, that there's someone new, but you're already, you might already know who this person is. You know, I didn't say it out loud, um, but I talk to my spiritual team all the time when I'm doing a reading and I'm asking questions in my own head. And one of the questions I was really asking is, you know, should I recommend this emperor or should I not? I feel like now I know, even though I already knew. Um, but. I want to make this clear also. I do feel like this is, it does feel like someone of the past. So I feel like for some of you, this is what you've been overcoming. You've been learning to love yourself again. You've been learning um, that you do deserve love and really of the highest form. You also been learning that I also have to think about my own vibration. You know, if I get stuck in the web of that five of wands, that ego, that drama, and that's what it is. It's drama. And it's easy to get pulled into that energy. And I feel like the only thing I can really do in that energy is literally walk away from it. I don't want to live my life that way. Right? I don't want to carry. And I feel like this ten of wands... Ties back to the Six of Pentacles. It could simply be a life lesson of where I have the tendency to give. And I haven't been receiving in equal numbers. The sun's going to illuminate everything for you. And sometimes that means even the things that maybe you didn't want to look at, but really serve you to look at, you know. And then I also want to again say that judgment is saying that you, you are worth like true love. Okay. I think I got my answer to that. Um, before we move, I am going to bring in the romance angels. But before we move to the romance angels, let me just see if there's anything else I want to clarify. Um, 
I think I'm going to come up to the Two of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Because I do feel like this is where many of you are, like, finding your voice again. You know, like, you're speaking your truth. And that's what spiritual your spiritual team is saying. Your truth. Right? Speaking your truth. Don't hold in, you know, what you need to get out. Because who suffers? You suffer. Why are you suffering? Because of another. But, in a way... It's helping me find my own self-respect. It's helping me understand that I do deserve the highest form of love. And it, and I love that the Four of Swords is here too because I feel like that's you raising your own vibration. I love that the Hermit is here because I feel like that is your spirituality. And, you know, that means if you put those two elements together, oh, just those two alone, you have much more. But just those two elements alone means that your vibration is lifting. And that makes me feel good because, again, like the law of attraction, I need to be what it is I want. I need to be able to, you know, I, I feel like because the Six of Pentacles is here, chances are you already know how to give. But do you know how to receive? You know, because maybe you haven't received. Anyway, let's go up to the Two of Wands and the Queen. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. Two of Swords. Look at this. Ace of Pentacles. And look at this Capricorn. Or those in Truthfully Guide. I already know that not all of you are Capricorn. I can feel it. This is an unexpected cup of fulfillment. Let's just follow the line. Here it is. Seven of Pentacles. This is, you know, not everybody likes to hear this, but even difficult situations, especially, well, in all areas of our life, but let's just say love right now. Um, you know, sometimes we have to know exactly what it is we don't want. You know, some of you, I feel like you got stuck with like a narcissistic type of energy. Um, and you've been questioning, do I stay? Do I go? Do I wait? You know, what do I do? What do I do? Um, and I feel like you are finding your answers, you know, and simply some of you, like you are reaching out and you're making that final, feels like, like a final phone call. And maybe you question whether you should do that or not. I would say if you're in a waiting, um, if you're in a waiting stage for someone, yes, I would reach out. I would just simply say, you know, love me or don't love me. I'm, I'm, I'm finding myself again. I feel strong within myself again. And then the Ace of Pentacles comes out. That means something that's coming into your physical world. You know, the Ace of Pentacles to me has roots. And that means it's something that can really take root, that can last for the rest of your life. And it's in line with the marriage card. And then the Knight of Cups, an unexpected cup of fulfillment. Hello. I feel like Best advice I could give you right now, if someone is playing mind games with you, try to find a way to let it go, to move on from it. Some of you, I feel like you already have, but maybe, again, you needed, you needed some time, you know, to come back to yourself, to understand that you are definitely worth loving. At night is looking right over towards not just the soulmates, but that Ace of Cups. So even more reason to use your voice if you're in that waiting game. Now, if you've been healing from that, then I would say get ready. Get ready because love is coming your way. And I feel like the only thing you really need to do is ask yourself, where's my own vibration? 
Do I understand that I am lovable? Do I realize that my spiritual team sees me in a perfect way? You know, they're reminding you that, you know, you're here for a reason. That you are, well, there should be real value to you. I do feel like many of you have moved into this very spiritual type energy. And I feel like it's going to serve you 100%. You know, you know what you deserve now. And you know what you don't want now. And that's important to know. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes we can look back and be like, man, why am I unlovable? It's not that you're unlovable. It's they don't know how to love. They want it their way. And it just doesn't mesh with you. You know, I don't see you, you know, being like, yes, we can, I know I have, get caught in that narcissistic web. But I feel like for just for a period of time, like eventually we're going to come to our own truth. And maybe that's simply what it means. You know, this person in the two swords, they have a blindfold on. That means there's something they don't want to face. And maybe that's what I need to face again is someone and and i the more i'm doing this reading the more i feel like this is old energy and what i needed to heal from to get me ready for what wants to come in you know there's a lot of beauty in this reading if you look at it that way, you know, if you look at this reading through your spiritual eyes with your spiritual ears, then you'll see the beauty in this reading. But if I'm using just my my human mind, you know, and I'm not feeling worthy because of someone else's actions, then I kind of get stuck in that web. But again, healing right next to judgment, who's saying, Just be truthful with yourself. And that's all you need to do. And the rest is just part of what is meant to be. You know, the Seven of Pentacles is your tree of life. It's your seeds of intention. And I often feel soulmates, not always, but a lot of times I feel like soulmates already planted those seeds before they came into this lifetime. And I feel like, you know, what's the perfect time for a soulmate to come in after I've just been through what feels like hell or dealing with someone who feels like hell? And I've overcome that. Strength card means you had the ability to overcome that, you know, and and understand how courageous you truly are. I feel like there's no sense of fighting, you know. You either want me or you don't. But this feels like what it's talking about, what's coming in new. That's what the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups is, right? This is this means it's coming into your physical world. And it's love, but it's unexpected. And that's usually how love happens. And maybe this reading is about just so that you will be open to it. Remember, the universe, it's a new chapter. Two of Wands, I'm willing to take a step forward. The Fool, I'm going to take that leap of faith. I feel like the Page of Cups is saying you're going to feel this energy, especially because you've overcome that dark night of the soul. You're now moving forward with your spirituality. That means your vibration has lifted. And that means whatever comes towards you, must also be of that vibration. I often find soulmates have gone through very similar energies also. Okay. So, sorry, Emperor. I don't have a lot of good things to say. Um, You know what I want to do? I'm just going to take a card, but what I want to do, well, whatever wants to come out, I'm going to connect the page and the queen together. And I want to see if this is someone 
um, that you already know. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Um, two cards of Virgo on the, on the table. Nine of Pentacles, though, it's really about where you're standing in this independent nature now. You know what I mean? It's like where, I mean, it, it, the meaning of the card is successful self-employment. And that could certainly be the case. Um, but I really feel like what it's saying is you're feeling so much more strong on your own two feet. Plus, there's a little birdie whispering to her. I feel like I don't need to fall in love when I'm in the Nine of Pentacles energy. It's not that I need to fall in love, but maybe I'm ready. There's that Nine of Swords. Look at that, 99. And again, I'm going in a diag diagonal, diagonal, oh. diagonal. Why can I say that? We have the Four of Pentacles. Well, that's when you really are feeling um, grounded. It's important to an earth sign. And then, hello, lovers. Look at this. Hello, lovers. By the way, this is the perfect energy to come out right now. First of all, it is a card of Gemini. But you know, I'm going to say it doesn't have to be. Um, it is a head over heart decision. But again, doesn't mean it has to be. What I really want you to look at is you see the feminine. and She feels this energy, right? Here's the masculine. He just hasn't reached her yet. They haven't come together yet. They can feel each other's energy. What a perfect card to come out that's now connecting the page to the queen. Again, I kind of want you to forget the signs. And I want you just to think about the energy. So this lover, is, the lovers, is coming over spiritual union, but also the ace of cups. And connecting the page to the queen. You're going to feel this energy. You're going to feel it. Oh, you're going to feel it like chemistry. Remember, we had the Knight of Cups coming in, which is an unexpected cup of fulfillment on love. Wow. I feel like you're going to feel it before it even comes in. And maybe that's why your spiritual team is like, we need you in the present moment. Because this is something that you will need to take a leap of faith in especially with what you've been through, but it's time. And, you know, I feel like you're ready. You're ready. You're feeling so much stronger than you had. I feel like this Nine of Swords, because we have the Nine of Pentacles next to it and the Four of Pentacles on the other side of it, I feel like this is the energy that's going away because you're realizing your own worth now. And so will this person. I'm telling you, so will this person. Okay, so I'm glad I connected them. Now, let's bring in the romance angels. Let's give them a couple shuffles. I just, all of a sudden I'm getting it like in my head, like other signs are going to watch your reading and they're going to be like, oh, I want you to do a special reading for us too. So maybe it was meant to be, maybe I was meant to skip you because this is like, wow. All right. Well, oh, hello. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. It's like that's what your spiritual team has been trying to say. Your positive thinking and your faith will bring you romance. 
I don't know where I want to take it. I think just down the middle. Wow. Soulmates. Soulmates. Yes. This is your soulmate. You know, this could have been a karmic lesson. And be proud of yourself if you've overcome a karmic lesson, if you have learned from it, if you have healed from it. Because I feel like, you know, karmic lessons and us healing from it only bring us good karma. Soulmate, a soulmate. So now we have both soulmates on the table. Playfulness. That makes sense with the sun here because I feel like the sun is very playful energy. You know, it really is like allowing my inner child to come out and play. And Page of Cups coming right over his soulmate union. That makes sense too. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. Playful love. Mm. Healing family issues. Yeah, that could tie us back to father. Your love life benefits. Oh, wow. As you forgive your parents. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Maybe this emperor doesn't remind you of your father. And I'm not saying your father is not a loving person or wasn't a loving person, but maybe as it relates to like love for, you know, romantic love, maybe they weren't so great at it. And I do feel like it's important that we, we allow ourselves to heal. You know, I'm just going to tell you a short little story. Um, Many of you know that, you know, when I was growing up that, and I think I even said at the beginning of the reading that my parents fought so much and us kids would sit on the steps and just cry and cry. And it, I mean, it was, it was a lot. Um, and I remember like years later, like when I was, I think I was in my twenties, maybe thirties, when my dad came to me and said, you know, they ended up getting divorced. And he said to me, you know, I should have never left you kids. And I said, no, dad, that was the best thing you could have done because we really couldn't take it anymore. You know what I mean? Like, like the fighting between you and mom was so much. It, it weighed so heavily upon us. And then remember how I said, uh, who do I go and marry? Someone who did exactly what my dad did to my mom. Um, but that wasn't even the story I was going to tell you. What I was going to tell you is um, I remember having a conversation with my sister one time. And she said, I'll never forgive mom. Now, my mom wasn't a bad mother. It's just that she never, never said I loved you. Now, she probably never heard it when she was growing up. I don't know. But she never told us that. And that's one of the reasons why Sam and I, as teenagers, broke up. He said he loved me and I couldn't say it back, even though I did love him. I couldn't say it. And he broke up with me. And that was that. However, y'all know, or maybe not everyone, you know, 40 some years later, my telephone rings out of the blue. And it was Sam. And he starts singing our song, which was back then, Bob Seger. Um, oh, all of a sudden, I forgot the name of the song. How did I? Night Moves. He just started singing it. And I knew immediately, you know, like I knew immediately who it was. Now, we hadn't seen each other in 40 some years. But anyways, my story was, my sister said that, you know, I'm, I'm never going to forgive mom. And I was trying to talk her into like, 
just saying, you know, don't carry that energy with you. You know what I mean? Like, they're, you know, again, maybe my mom didn't hear I love you when she grew up. And just like the father energy, you know, where maybe the emperor again was following like what his father did, that type of thing. Look at this. Engagement. Well, we already have the marriage card. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Simply put, if someone else was unwilling to make that commitment to you, well, in a way, you know, maybe it's down the road. You'll realize that actually you're thankful because look what all this energy moves you towards soulmates soulmates the ace of cups over the full judgment right before that your love life is ascending to a higher level you're much more spiritual than you were you're much you're you know you're standing in a much more independent nature now you feel good on your own two feet. It's not that I have to have love. But maybe I'm ready. And your spiritual team is asking you to do nothing more than just take a step into it. And the rest will just follow. I just know it. I feel it. The rest will just follow. You know, there is so much love on this board. Of the highest level. Do you understand that you deserve love of the highest level? Do you understand that if someone comes into your life and says that they love you, but they want you to change everything about you, that is not love. That is them wanting, well, that feels nar nar narcissistic to me. I mean, engagement is also connecting right to the soulmates. Anne is telling you, this is going to be playful. This is going to be fun. This is going to be romantic. This is going to be probably the love of your life. And I do feel like it's going to be the love of your life because I feel like ultimately this is who you're making a true commitment with. And let's remember, no one is fighting this energy within the Four of Wands. We want to be together. And in the Four of Wands, I feel like once we're together, we cannot imagine our lives without each other. It doesn't promise an issue-free relationship, but this means that these two can work anything out. You know, I feel like this is where each puts the other before themselves, but it's a two-way street. You know what I mean? This is not about you carrying the weight of a relationship. This is about two people who just are in love. And don't forget what ushered in. And not only your spiritual team who says you don't do you don't need to do anything, but think about your own vibration. We'll do the rest. You don't need to do anything, but be willing to take the leap of faith and we'll do the rest. It feels like this is divine timing. I have a feeling I missed you in the all signs reading because you were meant to have your own reading. And what beauty. Okay, I feel like I want to take Mother Mary one more time over this reading. And I also want to remind you that the chariot really does represent unlimited potential. Once you fall in love, I feel like you're going to be in love for the rest of your life. I feel like, you know, and then that Eight of Pentacles over the marriage card, you know, will it take your focus? Will it take both people's focus to be successful? Yes, but I feel like both are going to want that. All right, Mother Mary, what can you say over this beautiful reading? 
honesty. Just like judgment came out with truth, now Mother Mary comes out with honesty. I am in touch with my true feelings regarding this situation. And look at this, forgive. So now we have two cards to talk about forgiving. But as you forgive, you heal. Now, I want to say when it says forgive, it doesn't mean you have to pick up a phone and say, hey, I forgive you. It just means you're forgiving within your own heart. You're no willing, you're not, you're no longer willing to carry that that heavy negative energy along this journey. Well, I should have just read the card. I am willing to release old resentments so that I may enjoy my life. I am in touch with my true feelings regarding this situation, and I'm willing to release old resentments so that I may not so that I may enjoy my life, but also enjoy this love. Capricorn. Wow. You know, that's why the tower is in reverse. Because it doesn't hold that power over you anymore. That's why it's in reverse. You're healed that you're you have healed that or you are healing it. Yes, it does feel like someone fell from grace, but you know what? It's not your job to pick them back up. This is lessons they have to learn on their own. And I say keep an eye to the sky. Keep an eye to the sky and watch how this comes together. You know, I feel like this is also saying to give you some comfort that all you really need to think about is your own vibration. The rest will take care of itself, right? If I'm able to forgive, that raises your vibration. If I'm able to be completely honest with myself, raises your vibration if I'm willing to use that sword of justice at whatever ties aren't serving me it balances you immediately and raises your vibration you know the hermit your spirituality coming to life and I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if you know these soulmates because we have two of them so we know they're coming together, um, you know, through discussion and conversation and heart to heart conversations, you find that you've both been through similar type energies. Maybe you both had to forgive, you know, people or person of the past, but it's simply forgiving and then letting that go. You know, that probably has a little bit to do with the nine of swords also. I feel like your spiritual team is just reminding you that you are lovable. You deserve love of the highest form. But maybe you did need to learn. You know, like we all did. You know what I mean? Like, I think of many relationships I was, I was in that I was in love and sad that they, you know, that it wouldn't last. But now I get it. You know what I mean? Like, well, I got it then, but... Um, in the moment, it's sad, right? You feel like, oh my God, my life is over. Then you meet someone new. I loved it. I just loved your reading, Capricorn. Even though I know there's some difficulties and some heartache, um, this is not about that. This, that. That's what was. This is talking about what is now opening up to you. And for some of you, you're already on that path. Maybe you just met this person and you're wondering, you know, maybe that's why this came out where it says, yes, this is your soulmate. Look at that image. Yes, this is your soulmate. Not only is this your soulmate, but your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Hello, marriage card. Amen. I feel like there's nothing else I can say. 
I feel like it's all been said. It's all out on the table. Um, you know, there's a lot of information on this table, so you may have to watch it more than once. And I know they're long, um, and that's completely up to you. But wow. Just think about where your vibration is at, and the rest will take care of itself. Just be willing as this love enters, just to take a leap of faith. It can be difficult, especially if we dealt with, especially a narcissist. It can be very difficult. Forgive who you need to forgive. You know, I understand this energy because I've also been in relationships where, you know, one I can say was very abusive and I did forgive. Now, I didn't call him and forgive him. I forgave within my own heart. I also forgave myself for even allowing myself to fall for that. You know what I mean? So sometimes it is just forgiving yourself. But I feel like it, really what you did is you learned from it, right? It's what helped your spirituality grow. Uh, grow your spirituality grew because of it. I feel like the strength card, it's now what gives you this courage. And I want to go even back to that nine of pentacles we had, where I feel like it's where I'm feeling strong on my own two feet. It's almost like a symbol or a signal to the universe that I'm now ready and I am now open. Again, it's coming in an unexpected way. So the best thing, the best way to prepare for it is just to think about your own vibration and let the rest take care of itself. Allow yourself to be playful. The sun illuminating this love, like, wow. All right, guys, I swear I could just go on and on and on and on. Um, but, you know, somewhere I got to be like, okay. But I feel like everything, that I feel like it's very clear. I loved a Capricorn um, and those intuitively guided because uh, I do feel like I have more than just Capricorn here. And um, I kind of love that because that means that you trusted your intuition. Wow. But what a reading. I thank you. I again apologize that I can't believe I was so mad at myself after I did the video and that when I was doing the timestamps. I'm like, oh my God, there's no Capricorn. I was so mad at myself. But the video was too long to reshoot. So that's what I told myself. Well, I'll just do a special reading just for Capricorn. Man, am I glad I did. In a way, I'm kind of glad I forgot about you. It's not that I forgot about you. Um, I don't know. I don't know how it happened. But now I'm glad that I did. Because look at the beauty of your reading. Yes, there's some hardships. But, you know, that's life. And we do have to learn to overcome them. You know, those who have fallen from grace, it's not our job to pick them back up. Let's keep moving forward. And let's just allow what wants to enter. Or if it's already entered, just allow yourself to be playful. Allow yourself to take a step forward and then watch this love just grow and grow and grow. I love you guys. Thank you. And I'll see you next. Oh, I also want to tell you, um, I am running a personal special. Um, I, you know, I'm not going to do it for the whole month of November because I fill up too quickly. But I am doing $25 off. Um, I have two different readings you can choose from. I call it a regular reading, but a regular reading is like two hours to three hours long. Um, very detailed, very detailed. And it's you send me your questions and um, your birthday because I like to do numerology and a personal reading also. Um, anyway, you're connected to. And then I also have an emergency reading. And that's for those who just feel like, you know, I don't want to wait. I need it. I need it now. Um, I have those done within 48 hours. Uh, so that's why I can only do so many, but so I am re running that special. 
Um, a lot of people have asked me what I take for payment. I do PayPal and I do Ven uh, Venmo. And that's all I take. Um, but PayPal, you don't have to belong to it. You can just, you know, you just click the link and you can just use a credit card. Like it doesn't sign you up or anything like that. So don't worry about that. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to let you know about that because that's going to be for a limited time. I've already had a few people take advantage of it. Um, and I love doing, I really love doing personal readings though. They are exhausting, but in a good way. Uh, so anyways, I love you guys. I thank you. Happy November. Happy November. I'll see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.